howdy, partner. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you again. I was just out here fishing at my favorite spot, you know? <laughs> How have you been, buddy boy? Oh, that's great, that's great. Yes, sir. Well, you know, life's been great for me. You know, I just get to sit here and eat my favorite beef jerky right here. Get some good old Jack Links. Yes, sir, some good old Jack Links. It's that Doritos flavor, man. They come, they come out with all these new flavors. I just try them, and I decide which one I like the best. But, yeah, man, this, this one's got, it's, the, uh, it's that sweet, spicy, chili flavor. And you know me, I know how you, I love my chili. <laughs> I love my chili from the deep south. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This stuff's not half bad. Yeah, help yourself, help yourself, young boy. <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, you notice my new hat? Yeah, I got it from the Bass Pro Shop. You know, that's my favorite. Hey, my favorite place on the whole world is that Bass Pro Shop, boy. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. Yes, sir. You see this right here? You know, I used to, I actually know, the, I used to know the guy who opened up the Bass Pro Shop. Mr. Bass Pro himself. Yes, sir. I got it in my favorite color, orange. Yes, sir. It fits, it blends into my hair perfectly. Yep. And I love my Bass Pro Shop hat. I bought it just the other day. So what have you been up to, boy? Yeah, okay, pretty good. Yes, sir. You wanna see something else? This is the, this is the knife I use to gut them fish, yes, sir. Check this out, it's got that pretty radical looking little little red part right there on the, on the metal, yes, sir, see? I can cut wires and lines with this right here. Yes, sir, super convenient. Yeah, it's great. It's great, it's my gut knife right here. Look at that. Yes, sir. You hear that noise? That is what we like to hear. Yes, sir, I can clip it to my pocket right here. Yes, sir. See, I got my, it's nice and, and, and uh, ribbed so I can cut things like wood. Yes, sir. Serrated. See, right here it says hunt down. Yeah, that's what we like to see. And it flips out, too. Check this out. I can actually pull this little part. It's like a, it's like a switchblade almost, you know? Check this out. Yeah. You need to get you a, a nice knife, sonny boy. I tell you what. You need to get yourself a nice knife. Something like this. I got this one real cheap. I bought it off a dude. He was kind of sketchy, but... You know, it's always the sketchy guys that get you the best deals. I tell you what, I tell you what, boy, I tell you what. You need you need some advice anytime. I'm the man. I'm the man. I tell you what, boy. Okay. I tell you what, boy. You want to see something else? I don't only go fishing. I go hunting too, boy. You want to see my hunting ad d uh, d device? You want to see it? Check this thing out. Check this out. Here's right here's my hunting bow right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, this right here. Yep, this I got it in camo. Yes, sir, this is my compound bow. I use this to take down even the heaviest of bucks. Yes, sir, hit him with the buck. Check this out, I got all sorts of things on here. This is a beautiful specimen, hear that? Solid, absolutely solid. You got this little part right here, these are the um, Suspension right here to stop the uh, the shock or something like that. We got these beautiful, beautiful look at that. Now I'll tell you what, this thing got a drawback. It's pretty hard to pull back, so I'm not going to, so I don't accidentally ruin anything. But I'll tell you what, check this out, Sonny Boy, check this out. I got this right here. This is an adjustable sight. This sight is adjustable. You wanna see it in action? Check this out, okay? So it goes up or down depending on where their bucks be at, you know? Look at that. See it moving right there? Yes, sir. That's called, the, that's the technology right there. Yes, sir, and then you actually see right here, believe it or not, yep, look at that. You can pinpoint accuracy, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, I take down a buck from 100, 100 meters away. I'll, I'll be in the bushes, you know? They can't, they never see it coming. They never see it coming. Boom. 
Take a day. Now, now let me show you. Let me show you the ammunition. Now you can't kill a buck with a bow if you ain't got an arrow. Now I'll tell you what. See right here. This this is a fine fine specimen right here. Check this out right here. See these wings right here. Perfect propellation right here. These will get you through the wind. They spin around like this. It's beautiful. I'll tell you what. And this back part right here is clips on right there. Perfect. Yes, sir. I got this little right here. Check this out. It's that bad boy right there. So sharp. I can almost sketch out your face. I can almost sketch out your face. Check this out, man. Check this out. I can almost check out your whole check out your whole space, man. Yes, sir. So combined. This is what we like to see. Yes, sir. I tell you what, any buck will not will not survive. That's what we like to see right there. You see that? Yes, sir. You hear that right there? That's what we like to hear. Now, you might not be ready for that, Sonny Boy. I'll tell you what. You know, I got years of years, like, on my belt, okay, Sonny Boy? So there is no need. You know, you're still young. You're still a young little boy, okay? You you got some time to adapt and grow, okay? And you, you'll, be, you'll be a boss man like me one day. So have no fear, Sonny Boy. Have no fear. You just keep on eating, though. The old Jack Link's beef jerky. I, I used to, when I was your age, I used to gobble this shit down like I was, like there was no tomorrow. Yes, sir. Now, let me show you what else you're going to need to be a real man, all right? When you out there, you're going to smell like dookie. So you got to carry some deal around on you, all right? You see this right here? Now, back in my day, we didn't have Old Spice, okay? We had, like, some weird stuff that, like, you kind of put under your arms. And it would give you, like, rashes and stuff. It wasn't really good for you. But this right here, technology is so great, man. Look, check this out, son boy. You see this right here? They got the Fiji Old Spice with palm trees. Yes, sir. Yeehaw. Yes, sir. You will smell better than ever with this on right here. With this on right here. Now, that's not the only thing you're going to need, all right? You're gonna need a hat yourself, all right? So, I know, I know you might not have one, so guess what? I got you this one right here. This hat, you know what? You're, you're a lucky boy, you're a lucky boy, because I tell you what, this hat right here, this was my, my grandpa's hat right here. 1958, yes sir, see that? Comes from my favorite gas station in the whole wide world, that's the Quick Trip right there. Quick Trip, you ever been to a Quick Trip, son of boy? You ever been to a quick trip, Sonny Boy? Yes, sir. I'm sure you've heard of it. This quick trip, you, you ever heard of like Bucky's? That's like, they're like, all right, but you know, you got to go all the way out there. You got to go all the way out there and go to Bucky's. You see, quick trips, they're all over. And they sell you everything you need. You need like a Gatorade. You need like, you need a quick little snack. You need gas. Their gas is always always at a low price i tell you what boy check this out 1958 that's when they that's when they started that's when the first one came out yes sir you know i actually my grandpappy used to know the guy yes sir mr quick trip himself yes sir now i'll gift you this hat okay this hat i will give you as my special gift so that way one day we can go hunting all right and fishing yes sir so hold on to this for me okay Hold on to this one. Now, I wish I could get you a knife, too, but unfortunately, I only have one. You see, uh, I haven't worked in years, so. But I'll tell you what, Sonny Boy, there's no need to work, okay? I've been escaping. Uh, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been fraudulent with my taxes for years. So I'll tell you what, boy. Um, that, that, that ain't nothing wrong with that. That ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? Uh, they, you know what they say? You, it ain't cheating if you don't get caught. Uh. The police can't arrest you if you, they don't catch him, all right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, check this out. Check this out. This right here, boy. This is my rattlesnake belt. Look at this. Yes, sir. That's, that is the, the, the tail of a rattlesnake. You see that? 
This is my bell right here. Now, you're lucky I'm old, but back in my day, I used to, I used to whip, I used to whip my kids with this when they would misbehave. I used to beat my kids with these, but you know we ain't gotta do that anymore. Hear that? It's still got the sound in it. Yeah, but that's all good. Now, this is, I've had this belt for years. It's in top-notch condition. Now, this is actually from a rattlesnake that I hunted and killed myself, okay? You can see this was the tail, and I poked all these little holes into it. I poked all these little holes into it, okay? Now, this, there's a story behind this rattlesnake. He wandered in, into my parts of town. I came up to him, I said, listen here, Mr. Rattlesnake, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. And you know what he said? He said, and so you know what I said? I said, let's do a duel, friend. So I put my back behind, and the rattlesnake was behind me. And he started slithering off. And I started walking. And then I turned around, and I poof, right through his head. And that's where I put this right here on. Yep. He was a big one, I'll tell you what. So, as you can see here, I poked the holes through all of them. And we got these little parts right here. These are the, uh, all, each of these has a little insignia. And we got a little star right here. See, you got a little star right here? Because I used to be a sheriff back in my day, but I'm not anymore. Each of these is kind of like, you know, you, you were in the Boy Scouts, right, son of boy? You're in the Boy Scouts? Yeah, yeah, you're in the Boy Scouts, yeah. It's kind of like the, those little badges they give you, the little patches, yeah. So, we got like this one. This one's from when I went to Mexico. Yes, sir, son of boy, I went to Mexico. And they gave me this one after I saved, uh, I saved a pretty important guy's daughter from some unfortunate events that occurred, you see. There was a pack of wild coyotes that were about to attack her. And so I came up and I, I noticed she was screaming for help. Four coyotes were about to jump her. So I pulled out my, my pistol. Got them all. Yeah, that was back in my day though. I don't, I don't do any, I don't do none of that no more, boy. I'll tell you what, now, now I just, I just go fishing, shoot things with my bow and arrow, good old bucks. Yeah. What do I do with the bucks? Yeah, I usually eat them, uh, turn their horns into little accessories, and I sell them. That's how I make my money, untaxed, of course, unpaid under the table. <laughs> IRS hasn't caught me yet, so yes, sir. Uh, anyways, I just thought this was cool. This is my this is my belt right here. Very cool. With this rattlesnake, I still have yet to see a king rattlesnake the size of this bad boy right here. Son of boy, I'm going uh, I'm to have to go off soon, but I'll leave you with one last thing. All right, boy, I'll leave you with one last thing. The winter's going to get cold, boy, so you're going to need yourself a nice knitted hat just like this one right here. All right? I got you two hats. I got you this one right here to keep you nice and warm, all right? Yes, sir. The winter comes, and I'll tell you what. When the winter comes, see, people don't think it gets cold up down here in the south, but... What they don't know is that out in the desert, it's all dry. And when the winter hits, up in the, the panhandle, it freezes over. And everything becomes still. The air is crisp. You got to watch yourself. If you don't stay crisp and warm, then that's when, the, that's when they get you. That's when they get you. The chupacabra, he comes out at night. Stocks for his prey, and if he finds you, you're boned. You gotta stay warm. You gotta stay ready, and have your your iron on your hip. So when he comes at you, gotta hit him with one of those. Now, I've seen the chupacabra before. Yep, real down south, Mexico. Yep, that's what made me leave Mexico in the first place, boy. You don't want to mess with them chupacabras. They're terrifying. So, anyways, take this, boy. Take this as my last gift to you. Now, you better be getting on before your, 
Your old man gets angry at you. Yeah, I know him. <laughs> yeah. Now get out of here, boy. Get. Get. <laughs>